Cabozitinib is a really exciting drug for us in kidney cancer because it's really probably the first time we've seen a VEGF-targeted tyrosine kinase inhibitor demonstrate some activity that's maybe different than what we've seen with some of the other VEGF-targeted therapies. So in Meteor, we saw the, combina the, the comparison to uh, an mTOR inhibitor, Everolimus, and for the first time in the um, refractory, VEGF refractory setting, we showed an overall survival benefit as well as an improvement in progression-free survival and response rate associated with a VEGF TKI over an mTOR inhibitor. And then with Cabosun in the frontline setting, compared to Sinitinib, which no agent had really been able to show any kind of clinical superiority to, in patients with intermediate and poor risk disease um, in the Cabosun study, uh, Cabozantinib demonstrated an improvement in progression-free survival a higher overall response rate, and at least a trend in terms of uh, improved overall survival in favor of that arm over, over sinitinib, really suggesting for the first time that these drugs may not be equal and there may be a population that benefits from a, an agent like cabozantinib. So what we've seen in the community is already a fairly large uptake of use of this agent in VEGF-treated patients already, which is on label and um, sort of uh, sequencing either before or after nivolumab. And at least in our experience, it's been um, well tolerated at a 40 milligram dose level. And some patients were able to give the full dose, but many others, we see responses even at a slightly decreased dose level. In the frontline setting, I think it remains to be seen how much people will integrate the Cabosun data into their practice um, without a, a regulatory approval, but certainly that clinical data is there and will be supported by NCCN guidelines.